So uh, I just went down to the mailbox and uh, there was a letter in there from a fellow named Matt. Matt lives in Edmonds, Washington and Matt was nice enough to send me this envelope with some uh, eucalyptus seeds and I just opened it up and uh, looks like Matt is a viewer of my YouTube videos. So what we have here, it's August 22nd by the way, are some eucalyptus uh, regnan seeds or alpine ash. So we'll put them to the test here on Salt Spring Island and they're probably going to work just fine, like I say, without cold stratification, as Matt says too. So uh, he writes, Matt, thanks Matt. Get this letter open here. Hi Joe, I thought you might like some of these E eucalyptus regnan seeds. Uh, that I received several years ago. They are an extra cold hardy provenance from New Zealand. Supposedly good down to 11 Fahrenheit, which never ever happens here. I've never seen 11 Fahrenheit. Coldest I've seen here is just above 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I've had them survive down to 17 Fahrenheit with some frost damage. Maybe you can try them on Salt Spring Island. They seem to do just fine without cold stratification. Germinate easily with normal potting soil and warmth. If they live a few years, maybe you can upload a YouTube few YouTube videos. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Matt. Well, thanks, Matt. That's awesome. So what I'm going to do this weekend, I will sow these seeds in a seed flat. And uh, I know how to grow eucalyptus from seed. As you can see, there are some hundred foot ones here beside or behind me. And uh, we have them surrounding our house. Those ones I grew 25 years ago from seed. Those are Duller and Pliana mountain gum. And the seed came from Tasmania. So provenance makes a big difference when you have good provenance seed. So we'll give these a try. I will sow them, uh, like I say, in Promix HP with a uh, dusting of silica sand on top of them, throw them in our greenhouse, and we'll keep you guys updated on how these regnans uh, make out on Salt Spring Island. We grow quite a few species of eucalyptus in our garden, and they all do just fine. And uh, there's the proof in the pudding right here. There's some big Dollarium pleana mountain gums. That's just some of them. We have them all over the place. And this is the entrance to the B&B. These are pretty big pretty big trees. So anyway, thanks Matt and uh, stay tuned for videos and updates of eucalyptus regnans growing on Salt Spring Island. Cheers and aloha.